Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Airtable with uh, Microsoft Office. First of all, we have to create ourselves an account at Airtable.com and we uh, have to go and find integrations. The fastest way to integrations is actually just writing down in the search engine the Airtable.com slash integrations and you will get straight to the integration that Airtable provides for you. First of all, we have to try and find ourselves if there's a Microsoft uh, Office, but uh, it's not at Airtable and it's not already implemented. So uh, there are two options that we go for. First option is uh, it's automate.io. Uh, I will leave a link in the description down below the video. Uh, what we want to do, we want to go to the top right corner and we want to hover with our mouse over the integrations and we want to go and click on see all categories. Once we are here, we can pick uh, from a couple of apps that we want to start with. In our case, the first app we are going to look for is Airtable. We click on the Airtable and the second one will be uh, Office 365. As you can see, the automate.eo is providing for us a couple of popular integrations uh, between, uh, uh, between Airtable and Office. For example, add or update a context in Office to a new record in Airtable and so on. Or you can create your own integration by scrolling down and as you can see you can pick from new record or update record. It means it will trigger an event in Airtable. So let's go with a new record. And on the opposite side is action. So it will actually do this action in Office. So let's go categorize an email. And now you just have to uh, press the try it now. After uh, hitting try it now, uh, you will have to log in into Automate and your integration will be basically done. The second option is through Zapier. At Zapier.com, you uh, have to create an account straight away. So once we created an account, we want to go to the top left corner of uh, Zapier.com and we want to uh, press make a zap. Now we can name our zap which is going, by just going like air table to office, for example, in case you want to do more integrations. And it goes the same way like at uh, like at uh, Automate. First application will be Airtable. So we hit Airtable, uh, we choose the event, we press continue. Now we have to log in to Airtable, to the account that we created a couple of minutes ago. We go with continue. As you can see, user research uh, is the basic one that is provided in Airtable. Uh, it's the base. Now let's go with the users. It may vary to or whatever you have already created in your in your Airtable account. Continue and now you can check the trigger. Second, same at uh, uh, same as at uh, Automate, you can go and you press Office. Microsoft Office 365, choose an event, let's say update contact and continue. The last thing you have to do just create an account or sign into the Microsoft Office 365. So that's about it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.